Now Israel, my brother from the tribe of Judah, what does God require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord, thy God, to walk in all his ways. Stop. So it says to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. What that means to fear him. You fear his judgments of what he will do to you if you break the commandments. Like the brothers were breaking out, breaking the Sabbath. You got people walking around here going to the liquor store, breaking the Sabbath. We bring it out the laws of the Sabbath. They don't even care. But it's okay. They just an accident waiting to happen. Read on. Bring it out. And love them. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart. Uh -huh. And with all thy soul. So that's what's required of you. To serve, to serve, to show the Lord you love him by keeping his commandments okay now give me Ecclesiastes 12 because what do you know your purpose of being brought on earth you don't know your purpose see that's that's what's wrong with our people now we have to sometimes we have to ask the question why are we being brought here every day we wake up we do the same thing we get up do the do the nine to five and we, we got to ask questions why lord why are we brought here so let's see what the bible says about that read this is the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 12 uh -huh. and, fu and further verse 13. verse 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole Fear God and keep his commandments. So we brought out a couple of laws, right? So now sometimes we have to switch the things up and put fear in our people's heart. So we in the city of Chicago, it's a Chirac, right? It's a lot of things going around. People getting killed, a lot of shot shootings and everything, things of that nature, right? So give me uh, Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. Because that's what we're out here teaching the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. You the children of Israel. That's right. And we here to tell you that if you don't repent, sooner or later the Lord is going to put judgment on you. You don't want that to happen. That's why we're coming out here to save souls. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The Lord is a man of war. Stop. So it says the Lord is a man of war. Have you heard that the Lord has a body and he's a man? You heard that before? Okay, read it again. The Lord is a man of war. Now, what are some synonyms of war? You know, uh, guns, battle, armor, bloodshed. Is that not what's going on around here now? In a lot of cities across the world? That's our people. Read. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. And give me Hebrews 10, verse 31. So my bro, so you say you had somewhere to go. What was you on your way to? Mommy asked me. Just to the store. Hmm. So after we brought out the laws of the Sabbath, you still want to go to the store and buy. That's okay. Today is a learning process. So you from the tribe of Judah, you're an Israelite. Remember, you're required to keep the commandments. It's not a question. That's it's a right. command. The Lord is demanding you to keep the Sabbath holy. There's no binding. That's so right. we gonna we gotta put fear in our people's heart to let them know that these you don't want judgment to come upon you. That's right. So that's why we have to bring the script bring this book to life to our people. Read that. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 31. Uh -huh. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Read it again. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So the Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. What do you think that means? That means that the Lord can put you to death for breaking the Sabbath. Bring it out. The Lord can put you to death for not keeping his commandments. That's like I stated up. earlier, people are accident waiting to happen. They don't know that we the children of Israel. Bring it out. The, right. the God that exists, he's only the God of us. That's why he punishes us for what we do. So read that again. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You see that it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So what I was, if, if I'm you, I would say, damn, okay, it's a fearful thing. You know what? I'm not going to buy today. What if you got wait till sundown tonight, it's lawful to buy. You don't want to go, don't do what the rest of these people are doing. Going in the liquor store, the scriptures say, don't rise up early and drink strong drink. Why are you waking up early in the morning want to drink, want to drink, uh, drink alcohol? You know, that's, our people need a quick fix to get their minds right. That's a, that's an astonishment, a byword that's in Deuteronomy. Let's get that. 
Bring it How out. How you doing, sis? What's your name? Mary. Mary? Okay. All right. You see yourself on the side right here? Yeah. I have a question, too. You have a question? Okay, yeah. what's your question? I know a lot of people is doing uh, Sabbath and Saturday. Uh -huh. I don't know that in my city, but I have a friend that's speaking to me. Hey, don't go the wrong way. You can still learn from this time. That's what you got a job on Saturday. What if you got a job on a Saturday? Yeah, on Saturday. Right now. How does that go in? Okay, all right, I'll tell you what. Give me, um, give me Proverbs chapter 3 and 5. So, what we out here do is bring the command, teach our people who they are according to the Bible, mm -hmm. the commandments and repentance. So, if you work on a Sabbath and the scriptures say don't keep the Sabbath, I wouldn't command you to quit your job. But while you have that job, you can fill out and get other jobs. But until then, you will keep the Sabbath to the best of your ability. Read that what you got. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh -huh. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Uh -huh. So now the question is, the sister said, what if you have a job and you work and you're not supposed to keep the Sabbath? That's a great question. Let's see what the Bible say about it. Verse 5. Uh -huh. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Okay, so you have to trust in the Lord with all your heart. So that means that you know you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Right? So the only God exists is the God of our fathers. That's right. So when you send up prayers, you ask him to give you a job where you can no longer work on the Sabbath. That's what it means by trusting the Lord with all your heart. Read. And lean not unto thy own understanding. So the Bible says lean not unto your own understanding. What is your own understanding? Well, to hell, I work on the Sabbath. I don't give a damn about that. I'm not keeping the Sabbath. No. Like I said, we're not commanding you to quit your job, but while you have a job, go fill out applications other places. Send up prayers to the Father, because remember, the only God that exists is the God of us. Bring it out. And it says, don't lean on your own understanding. So that's what that's going into. That's what we teach you. Uh, nationality, commandments, and repentance to our people. That's what we out here to wake up our people, because our people are spiritually dead. Oh, yeah. say we got people yeah. waking the Sabbath, all type of man that's going on. So now, uh, do you work on the Sabbath as of now? You do? Okay, how long have you been working at your job? Three years. For and three? I just switched to that. I, my thing was, I can't work on Sunday. You can't work on Sunday? But I am working on Saturday and Sunday. I do overnight. Okay, okay. Well, today, today you know you're an Israelite, right? Okay, so now you send up prayers to the Father. Yeah. And you can deal with that. He, the Lord will work with your work with the other nations. Your okay. boss at your job. I used to work on the Sabbath. Okay. I was gonna try to get another job, but the Lord worked with me where I was at, where I don't have to work on the Sabbath no more. So that's a, that's how amazing our God is. Read. This is the book of Philippians, chapter two and verse twelve. Uh -huh. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, that as in my presence only, uh -huh. but. Okay, stop. So remember, the Bible say precept upon precept. We can take any scripture to relate to what we're going through right now. Then this is the part of the precept I want you to pay attention to. Read. Work out your own salvation uh -huh. with fear and trembling. Read that last part again. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So the Bible say work out your own salvation. So that's going into the Bible says if you don't work, you don't eat. Okay, so remember, you got to keep the Sabbath holy. Before the Sabbath, you buy everything you need to buy. You buy everything you need to buy before the Sabbath, food, all that, gas up, whatever you need. And then after work, you don't do no buying or whatever time you get off. And then Saturday sundown, it's lawful to go back buying. Okay, what scripture That's Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. We're going to show you the judgment that the Lord put on somebody for breaking the Sabbath. Because this is serious business. Our people walking around, we out here to bring this Bible back to life. And they got to wake up. Because right. we the children of Israel. We the only thing, only people that God loves on the face of the planet. That's so we right. got to start acting like it. So we're going to show you the judgment that the Lord put on somebody for breaking the Sabbath. The Holy Sabbath. Where he says six days you labor and the seventh day you rest. No buying, no selling, no cooking. Right. Read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 32. Uh -huh. While the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man gathering sticks upon the seventh day. So, Mr.
this late. So while the children, while the children of Israel was in the wilderness, this is Moses dealing with the Israelites. It was a man gathering sticks on the Sabbath. The Lord considered that his work. Read on. And they, and they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation. Say, so they brought this man in front of all the congregation. They brought him to Moses and Aaron, the Levites, and they brought him in front of the congregation. So they want to know what to do with him. Read. And they put him in war. They put him in jail. Read. Because, because. It was not declared what should be done to him. Okay, so at this time, they know that breaking the Sabbath is wrong, so they put him in jail to see what they should do with him. Read on. And the Lord said unto Moses. Now the Lord said to Moses, because remember, he was dealing with Moses like his right-hand man. Read. The man shall be surely put to death. Damn. Read that part again. <laughs> the man shall surely be put to the Lord say put that man to death the one true God the God of Israel That's right. he say put that man to death for breaking the Sabbath we used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.